Welcome to the Psychology and Physical Training channel. Ever wondered why your heart races when you're not even running, or why you feel restless when there's no apparent danger? This is the hidden battle that millions of people face every day, the battle with anxiety disorders. These are not just the occasional nerves before a big event, or the fleeting fear when we hear a sudden loud noise. These are persistent, often debilitating conditions that linger, affecting every aspect of the person's life. Anxiety disorders, far from being rare, are actually the most common mental health disorders globally. They are a silent epidemic, with one in every 13 people worldwide grappling with one form or another. That's nearly 7.5% of the global population. It's like the entire population of Russia, or almost twice the population of the United States. Think about that for a second. That's a staggering number of people, many of whom are suffering in silence, their conditions unrecognized or misunderstood. And the impact on their lives can be profound, affecting relationships, careers, and even physical health. But why is it so important to understand and recognize anxiety disorders? Well, for starters, understanding paves the way for empathy. It enables us to be better friends, family members, and colleagues to those who are battling these disorders. It allows us to provide the right kind of support and encouragement rather than dismissing their feelings as mere overreactions. Moreover, understanding these disorders can also help those who are suffering to recognize what they're going through. It can empower them to seek help, to know that their feelings are valid and that they're not alone. It can give them the courage to take that first step towards recovery. So as we delve into this topic, remember that this isn't just about learning a bunch of facts and figures. It's about understanding the human condition, about recognizing the hidden battles that so many people are fighting every day. It's about empathy, support, and empowerment. So what exactly is an anxiety disorder? Let's unpick this complex topic, unraveling anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorders are not just about feeling anxious. It's a much deeper issue than that. Imagine your mind as a garden. Thoughts, emotions, and experiences are the various plants that grow in this space. Now, anxiety, in its most basic form, is like a prickly weed. It's normal, natural, and even beneficial at times, alerting us to danger and prompting us to take action. But what happens when these prickly weeds start overtaking the garden? What happens when worry, fear, and nervousness become so excessive and persistent that they choke out all other growth? That's when we enter the realm of anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorders are a group of mental health conditions where this excessive, persistent worry and fear become the norm rather than the exception. They are characterized by a constant state of heightened anxiety that can interfere with daily activities, cripple social interactions, and even lead to physical symptoms like headaches, stomach aches, and sleep disturbances. But it's critical to understand that anxiety disorders are not just a case of feeling a bit worried. It's not something you can simply snap out of. It's like asking someone with a broken leg to just walk it off. The crux of the matter is that anxiety disorders are serious mental health conditions that require understanding, empathy, and professional intervention. So how do we differentiate between normal anxiety and an anxiety disorder? It's all about intensity and duration. Normal anxiety is temporary and directly related to some stressful situation or event, like giving a speech or going on a first date. Once the situation is over, the anxiety subsides. But with an anxiety disorder, the feelings of fear, worry and nervousness persist and intensify over time, often without any specific reason or trigger. In essence, anxiety disorders are not just all in the head. They are real, tangible conditions that have profound effects on the body and everyday life. They are not a sign of weakness or a character flaw, but a testament to a battle fought in the mind every single day. And understanding this is the first step towards a more empathetic and compassionate society. Anxiety disorders are not just all in the head, they have real tangible effects on the body and everyday life. The many faces of anxiety. Anxiety disorders come in many forms, all equally challenging and disruptive. You see, anxiety isn't just a singular monolith. It wears many masks and today we're going to unmask some of them. First up is generalized anxiety disorder, often abbreviated as GAD. This is a chronic condition where individuals experience excessive, long-lasting anxiety and worries about non-specific life events, objects and situations. It's like having an alarm system that's always on, making it hard for individuals to relax 
and often leading to physical symptoms like headaches and muscle tension. Next, we have panic disorder. This is characterized by sudden attacks of terror, often accompanied by a pounding heart, sweatiness, weakness, or faintness. During these episodes, individuals may flush or feel chilled, their hands may tingle or feel numb, and nausea or chest pain may occur. They often feel a sense of impending doom, fearing the worst, even when there is no apparent reason for concern. Then there's social anxiety disorder. This isn't just about being shy or introverted, it's an intense fear of being humiliated or embarrassed in social situations. It can manifest as a fear of speaking in public, meeting new people, or even eating in front of others. It's like being trapped in an invisible cage of fear, constantly worried about being judged or scrutinized. Specific phobias are another form of anxiety disorder. These are intense fears about specific objects or situations that pose little or no actual danger. It could be anything from spiders to heights, from flying to needles. These fears can lead to individuals going to great lengths to avoid what they fear, which can significantly impact their lives. Lastly, there's obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD. This is characterized by repetitive, unwanted, intrusive thoughts, obsessions, and irrational, excessive urges to do certain actions, compulsions. It's like a record that's stuck on repeat, playing the same distressing tune over and over again. Understanding these types can help us recognize and address anxiety disorders more effectively. By knowing the many faces of anxiety, we're better equipped to fight back, to help ourselves and others navigate through the stormy seas of anxiety disorders. The hidden signs of anxiety. Anxiety disorders are not always obvious. They often hide behind symptoms you wouldn't expect. The human mind is a complex entity, and when it comes to anxiety disorders, the signs can be subtle, often masquerading as everyday struggles. Let's delve a little deeper into the main symptoms of anxiety disorders. Restlessness is one such symptom. It's not just about being physically restless. It's also a sense of unease, a feeling that something isn't right. It's like an itch you can't scratch, a constant companion that doesn't let you relax. Fatigue, too, is a common symptom. It's not just about being tired from a long day at work or from a rigorous workout. This is a kind of tiredness that doesn't go away with rest. It's a constant feeling of exhaustion that can make even simple tasks seem daunting. Difficulty concentrating is another sign. It's more than just being distracted. It's a struggle to focus on tasks, to keep your mind from wandering to your worries and fears. It's constantly feeling like you're in a fog, unable to think clearly. Irritability often accompanies anxiety disorders. It's a heightened sense of annoyance or impatience, a short fuse that's easily ignited. It's not about being grumpy. It's an intense reaction to stress that can strain relationships and create conflict. Muscle tension is a physical manifestation of anxiety. It's a constant tightness or stiffness in the muscles that doesn't seem to go away, no matter how much you try to relax. It's like your body is always on high alert, ready to fight or flee at a moment's notice. Finally, sleep disturbances are common in those with anxiety disorders. It's not just about having trouble falling asleep, it's about waking up frequently throughout the night, having nightmares, or waking up feeling like you haven't slept at all. These symptoms can have a profound impact on a person's daily life, affecting their work, relationships, and overall well-being. They can be debilitating, making it difficult for individuals to live their lives to the fullest. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards managing anxiety disorders. Towards a better understanding, understanding anxiety disorders is key to breaking down the stigma and providing effective support. Let's dive into this concept a little further. Anxiety disorders are often misunderstood, largely due to the invisibility of their symptoms. This invisibility can lead to misinterpretation, belittlement, or even outright dismissal of the individual's experience. But here's the thing. These are real, debilitating conditions that can significantly impact a person's life. So, why is understanding so important? Well, knowledge is power, as they say. The more we understand about anxiety disorders, the better equipped we are to identify empathize with and support those who are battling these invisible foes. Understanding begins with education. It's about learning the facts, dispelling myths and challenging misconceptions. It's about recognizing that anxiety isn't just about feeling a bit worried. 
but a serious health issue that needs addressing. Understanding also means acknowledging the diversity of experiences. No two individuals with anxiety disorder have the exact same symptoms or experiences. Some might be plagued with constant worries, while others may experience debilitating panic attacks. Recognising this diversity helps tailor treatments to the individual's unique needs and experiences. But understanding doesn't stop at the individual level. It extends to our society and how we respond to mental health issues. It's about fostering an environment where individuals feel safe to share their experiences without fear of judgment or stigma. It's about providing accessible and effective mental health services for those in need. As we deepen our understanding, we can develop more targeted and effective treatments. Therapies can be refined, medications can be optimized, and support systems can be strengthened. We can move away from a one-size-fits-all approach to a personalized treatment plan that considers the individual's specific symptoms, circumstances, and needs. By understanding anxiety disorders, we can help those who suffer from them to lead happier, healthier lives. So let's keep learning, keep understanding, and keep supporting. Together, we can make a difference. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe to the Psychology and Physical Training channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.